What you're looking at is an Excel sheet with raw survey data. And we want to analyze this survey data uh, through what's called an analysis of variance or an ANOVA analysis. Uh, but the condition the data is in right now is not uh, suitable for running that analysis with Excel, so we have to prepare it uh, for that analysis. So this video takes you through the steps to, that I would go through to prepare this data for the analysis. And then in the next video, I'll uh, run the analysis. So just to describe what we're looking at here is this is, again, raw survey data. Each column represents an item on the survey. So you've probably taken a number of surveys before, and you may recall that there may be a, an item on there asking about your gender, male or female, your age category, and so on. This particular survey was looking for satisfaction, and it wanted to know satisfaction with the level of service, satisfaction with the store quality, and satisfaction with the store price. And it indicates which store, from a number of, from, from four stores, the individual was shopping at. So we want to know if there's any difference in the satisfaction with service or quality or price by store, which might indicate that the store may be doing something differently. So once again, uh, this uh, raw data here, uh, here's your survey items represented by the column, but each row represents an individual's responses to the survey item. So for example, I might be the first person to take the survey and I would indicate my gender and I would have indicated my age category and so on. And you'll notice here that I happen to be shopping at store number one and I gave a one for the, my satisfaction with service, a three with quality and a, th and a three with price and so on. And you may be taking the survey here on uh, row two and so on. We ended up with about 500 plus, if you scroll all the way down, 500 plus people took this survey. So what we need to do is, ultimately, we need to find out um, what the responses were for their satisfaction with service, quality, and price for each store. And so for the analysis of variance, we have to put the uh, data in a different format. Basically, I have to have one column for each store. Okay, so the first analysis I'm going to do is on service, and so I need to change the data from uh, one store column to four store columns. The way I do that is I start by highlighting the top row and making it so that I can sort all this data by their label. And I did that by going down to the little funnel, and I highlighted the funnel, and you notice that now all of the labels have a little arrow there, which means we can sort the data according to whatever variable we want. In this case, we want to sort it by store. And so we go from smallest to largest. And now what I've got is all of the data for store number one is represented in the top part of our data set. So we scroll all the way down here in stores and by the store variable. And you'll notice right here, store number one had 147 responses. So I want to take uh, the responses for my satisfaction with service for store number one and put that in one column. So I put my cursor under the service uh, label next to store number one. I highlight that cell. Then I move my data all the way down to where store number one ends, which you can see right here, store number one ends, store number two begins. And then I put my cursor right next to store number one, the last row there. I hit the shift key and then I click that and you'll notice that the satisfaction with service responses are all highlighted for store number one. Then I want to copy those. And then I'll go down here to the bottom and I'll click another tab so I have a new sheet. I'm going to go to another sheet. And then I'm going to put all of the satisfaction with service items for store number one in column A. Copy. And then I will label that column store one. And I'll do the same thing for store number two. And here again, here's where store number two starts. And here's where my satisfaction with service responses start with store number two. I, I highlight the service uh, cell next to the store number two. I go all the way down to where store number two ends and store number three begins. Hit the shift key, highlight that, copy. And then I go back to my data set over here. And then I second row down. And then I paste all of those responses, and this becomes store number two. I do this two more times for store number three, store number four, and I end up with 
my uh, data all sorted or reorganized so that now I have the satisfaction with service only, the satisfaction with service for store number one, two, and three, and these are the individuals who responded on a scale of one to five, their satisfaction with service. The next video will show how now we will uh, run the analysis of variance to see if there's any statistically significant differences in the level of satisfaction with service between stores.